All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to be with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for you. Man, we've waited a long time for these two men to meet in the center of the octagon. Pascal Krauss, Matt Good. Hughes. Here oh, we go! Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Green trunks for Hughes. White trunks for Krauss. I remember having a conversation with Matt Hughes many years ago, Joe, and he talked about the fact that while he was working on his striking, if he saw the opportunity for a takedown, he couldn't resist it. He said, as much as I'd like to stand and work on my hands and knock somebody out, I cannot stop myself from going into wrestling mode. Well, he's just so good at it and such a huge part of his life. It's just, it's always going to be there. He's always going to want to take guys down. That is his style. The clinch. Hughes with a nice hook from the clinch. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That's a nice knee by Kraus. He transitions to the Thai clinch. Hand him with the right hand. Connection with the straight by Hughes. And the combination. Hughes with a good takedown. Joe, he's one of the greatest wrestlers to ever compete in the octagon. Side control. Nicely done. to full guard. Very nice. Hey. Left hand. And again, he's got half guard. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Well, keep busy, keep busy. Hughes with a big hammer fist. Hits the reverse yeah, here the and in the full guard. Big punch from the bottom. Trying to pass. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. He's back in half guard now. And he lands the punch. Uh-oh. He mounts. Oh, now he's on his back. Now he gets the full mount again. Under two now. He hip escapes from the full mount. Tries to pass, but can't. He's keeping busy from the bottom. He went right back to that position. Throws a hammer at him. Back to half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's inside control here. He's got him in the crucifix, and now he's really using his body weight against him. And right back to side control. Looking for his back. And again, he's back into side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Side control here again. Trying to set up the Americana. Now from here, what he wants to do to secure the Americana is pull his opponent's elbow, and he got his arm loose. Stay 
full side control. He's got the full mount, Joe. Hughes' cut is getting worse. Man, it's bleeding. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And the end of the round. Great round. Listen to that. Three deep breath in front nose. Out to that mount. All right, perfect round. Here's a perfect head kick. And here, the single leg takedown and gets it. And here it is from a different angle. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany gets us set okay, for round, round two, number ready? two. Ready? Round two. Matt Hughes' ground game has been very dominant, and he was the much better fighter in that last round. Yes, his ground game was clearly dominant in that round. You could see the timing in the takedowns and the control of the top position. An amazing job. Matt Hughes in his fight against Royce Gracie was extremely dominant, but the one thing he wanted to have for his entire life better than a belt was a submission win over legendary Royce Gracie, and he almost got it. Well, he had him in a straight arm lock, but Royce Gracie refused to tap, and Matt was considering breaking his arm and decided he didn't want to do that. He's just going to pound him out. And, uh, you know, he did Royce Gracie a favor. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Oh, that's a great block to that big kick. Nicely done. Both men landing in that exchange. As we track the fight, we see the number of total strikes land. And great posture. In the full guard here. Krause's eyes looking really swollen. You've got to wonder whether or not it's actually a fractured orbit. Nice sweep to get to top position. Hughes with a good connection. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Full mount. Very nicely done. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Side control. Joe, excellent work from the top by Krause. He's moved back into side control. Just over three now. Tried to move from half guard into side control. Denied. Hughes gets it back to guard. out he's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground yeah he's digging into that leg kick he's taken down by Hughes just over two remain oh he's keeping busy from the bottom Back to side control. Man, that cut is getting worse. He transitions into north-south. He wants to get that arm under the back of the neck. He's got it. Oh, he's got the choke! He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the choke. Use excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take a look at the setup here. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Matt Hughes! Matt Hughes gets the submission victory here tonight.